welcome back to the channel. We're an adventure with Nick and Rachel and we bring you the best places to hike and explore in the southeast and more. So if you're into that kind of thing, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more of our adventures. Today we are doing the DeSoto Falls Trail in North Georgia. It's two, well technically two trails combined into one. So you go one direction for the upper falls then you come back and go the other direction to see the lower falls. Um, the Upper Falls Trail is three-fourths of a mile, and the Upper Falls is one-fourth of a mile. It ends up being about 2.2 miles in total. So let's go see this waterfall. So upper is that way, three-fourths. Lower is that way, one-fourth. Right, let's go. So let's go this way. You know how long it's been since we've been to this trail? Are you still like using a GoPro? Nope, I just moved off a of GoPro, and I remember when we got to the waterfall, um, uh, me and you sat there in front of the camera and we thanked, I think, 320 subscribers oh, yeah. for watching our videos. Thank you to the 200 followers that we have, and we really appreciate it, and it didn't go unnoticed. We just upload, we make content, and then we upload it and have it scheduled to come out later, so it came up pretty quickly, and we're making this video now just to say thank you. Yeah. And now we're back, and we're past 10,000 subscribers. So <laughs> thank you guys. That's super cool. <laughs> that is cool. Cause it's been a, it's been like what three years since we've been here. It's been a long road, but it's been fun. Yeah. It's a lot of miles walked. <laughs> <laughs> we should like Google up how how many miles we've done. It's been a good bit. I mean, I ain't gonna say it's been no. Oh, we've been we've done like 1,500, 2,000 miles like Appalachian Trail miles, but we we fight a good bit. A lot of, a lot of, yeah. On camera. Yeah. So, yeah. We should do that. We should. I mean, seriously, what a ride it has been. It blows our mind to see how much this channel has evolved in just a few short years. We've really gotten to experience a lot. We just wanted to give a big thanks for being a part of our growth and supporting us this far. We truly appreciate it. We're excited to see where this journey takes us next. Thank you for being a part of this adventure with us. What is something that actually scared you when you first started, but don't really bother you at all now? Uh, I don't know, snakes. I was pretty, I don't know. <laughs> you worry about scared, stepping on snakes? Yeah, I've been, I was scared of snakes. So since you've since been hiking, there. how many snakes do you think that you've actually seen on trail since we've started, like, like all the time hiking? Three. Maybe three? Three or four. Out of and how many? Uh, up, one, you one a year. Saved me from sitting on one. Oh yeah. And you picked up one. So maybe like. Four I've or maybe five. filmed like three or four of the ones that we've seen, but so over the course of like the just the channel since we've been hiking with the channel over the course of like almost four years or so, mm -hmm. maybe one a year. <laughs> so it was like almost an irrelevant fear. I would say like not being prepared because I feel like I'm like way more prepared now. So the feeling of not being prepared and the, the the fear of stepping on and seeing snakes for no reason. I am still scared of bears. I don't think that will go away. So, and question for the audience. And not being able to carry you out if you get hurt. <laughs> so question. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's that's a, that that's more of my me. my my fear. Yeah. But yeah, because I'd have to really just sit there and wait for you to go get help. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but. Um, yeah, so what's a, what's a fear that you have, like, beginning of hiking? And, you know, that's something that you don't really worry about now because you've been doing it for years and it's just in the back of your mind, like, hey, I've done this a million times. I don't have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. Leave it in the comments below. I'd like to know. In this area, they have a really, really, really nice um, camping setup and different spots for campers and tents. You can see off the river. There's just some. There's some people packing up because it's Sunday morning. We were actually the first on the trailhead today, but like all of that area is for camping. There's like back there where we had just came from near the parking lot. There's like picnic area, and this is a recreational area. So if you don't have uh, America the Beautiful parking pass, you're gonna have to pay five dollars uh, to park. So remember that.
So since starting our channel, I think one of um, my favorite things that we've experienced since starting it has been like the stories that people tell us and just like how our channel has impacted them or um, provided some kind of like joy in their life. Like I think that's super cool. Like we get messages all the time of like maybe it was a, a couple that um, got engaged at a waterfall that we went to or it was um, a hike that a couple had, had gone to when they were younger and they can't go to anymore and it, and that it was one of their favorite ones like I love hearing those stories I think they're they're really sweet and they're just like really just inspiring for us to get back outdoors and continue these videos and just to provide that into other people's lives like yesterday we ran into a couple that watches our channel um, and they were telling us how they really enjoy our channel and that <clears throat> they've gotten into hiking since watching our channel and so I think that's just super cool like the impact that these videos make um, and so if you have any stories or anything that you'd like to share with us that our channel or, or we have like provided for you any sense of joy whatever your favorite trail your favorite hike that we've done whatever it may be we love hearing those stories so always reach out and tell us because it's just it makes our day when we get our we get those stories like that so i think my favorite so far has been one of my favorites hearing from um people who watch our channel it was an older gentleman about last year he had mentioned a hike that we went to and he told me wrote me a book basically sent me an email about how one of the hikes we went to that he proposed to the girl of his dreams there when he was like 17 years old or something and he had he took her back to that spot over and over again throughout the course of their life and that she had passed away for like i don't know it's like 20 years or so yeah. and he said that that you know that hike that we did in the exact same spot you were standing in one of those spots was one of the spots he proposed to and he remembered it brought him <laughs> he cried <laughs> See, I would think I um, <laughs> and it brought him back to the moment that he proposed to his his love his life there and that just made that, that almost made me cry i'm a grown man <laughs> and i was like that's that is a uh, it's super special and I love hearing stories like that. So that's the main reason why we keep this channel going. Is just hearing stuff from like that. I mean, me and Rachel would be hiking by ourselves. We were hiking before we ever picked up a camera. Mm -hmm. And it, it was the stories like that that keep our channel alive, really. So we appreciate it. So thank you for reaching out. Yeah, thank you. From the outset, our goal was to make videos that went beyond a scrapbook of our memories. We wanted them to be a source of inspiration, offering value to those who watch our channel. It's not just about looking back on the beautiful places we've explored, but also about sharing practical tips, showcasing the beauty of nature, and motivating others to embark on their own adventures. The growth of our community has been a pleasant surprise. We're grateful for the diverse group of nature-loving individuals who have joined us on our journey. The community around our channel has become a space where people can not only enjoy our adventures, but also share their own stories, insights, and form connections with us. It's always been about connection between Nick and I. So being able to connect with you all has added a new and delightful layer to our adventures. Right behind me is the upper portion of the Soto Falls. It is 200 feet and you get to see these four like unique levels. It's a really cool waterfall to check out. Um, but this is the longest portion of the trail you're going to do. It's three-fourths of a mile up to this moon platform for the upper falls. Um, and we're going to go back down um, to the beginning of the trail and then head on up the other side and check out the lower falls. We went upstream to Upper Falls, now we're going to follow the stream down to Lower Falls. And how far is this one? A fourth of a mile. Right, so, so we'll be in and out real fast. Yeah, not, not long. That was the longest portion. Where are we headed to after we leave here? Uh, Helton Creek Falls. Helton Creek Falls. So this is part of our little waterfall road trip in North Georgia. This is number five waterfall mm -hmm. that we're seeing. And we'll be putting out an itinerary. It'll be on the channel at some point, if it ain't already, when you're seeing this video. So make sure to check that out. There'll be an uh, itinerary in that description where you can download and use and go check out all the waterfalls we've seen this weekend if you want to see the same ones. So we've made it to the lower portion of the falls. It's always kind of confusing to me since this is the lower portion, that's the upper portion, but there's a lot more uphill on this part of the trail. Um, but it's not too bad. It's not, it's pretty easy to all relatively easy trail. Um, and this is the lower portion. It's a nice waterfall. We have come 
um, at a time of year where there was a little more rainfall um, and there was a lot more water flow but we came and it was a lot drier it's been we had a, like no rain for the past like few months and so um, it's not a lot of water flow so just plan accordingly maybe after a rainfall when you come uh, but we really liked this waterfall and enjoyed getting to like reminisce on like the beginnings of our YouTube it was really fun so thank you guys for joining us um, if you like this type of content please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more of our adventures we look forward to seeing you on the next one